BFF and I am using a tool called Adobe Color. It's totally free and you can find it at color.adobe.com. And this is my favorite tool for playing with color palettes. So I want to show you how you can create a color palette from any photo at all. So if you find an inspiring photo on the internet and you're like, yeah, gosh, I wish that these could be my brand colors or I'd like to use colors from this photo in a graphic I'm making. I'm gonna show you how you can pull those colors and get the hex codes so that you can use them in your designs. So once we're in here in Adobe Color, we click the little camera icon and then we just find the photo that we want. Here's the one I wanna choose um, and we click choose. And Adobe Color is fun because it is going to jump to some colors automatically. And we can say, oh yeah, I like that palette. Or we can um, come through here and say, okay, this is a colorful palette. Here's a bright palette. Here's a more muted palette. This one's choosing the deep colors, the dark colors. Or my favorite, we can go to custom and then we can pull these little dots around to wherever we want. So. I love this purple, I love this pink, I want some yellow, oh maybe I want the brighter yellow, there we go, and definitely need this turquoise color, and then I'm going to grab this fun orange. So here is a super fun, bright, candy colored, summery, hey, it even says summer on the pillow, summery palette that would work great with my brand. And I just grabbed it from this photo. But there's one more step if we wanna be able to actually use these colors. So we go back to the little color wheel guy over here and you see they all pop up down here with little sliders. Now you can slide these around and adjust the colors. Let's say I wanna make this yellow a little more yellowy. I can pull that to the right. You know, I can make it much lighter, darker. I can do anything I want. So I'd also like to make the blue a little bit brighter. So I can drag those around however I want and I can even click through here and get you know, different types of sliders, CMYK, RGB, etc. You know, you can pull things around on a color spectrum and then make them more intense or darker, so, or lighter. Um, so those are some different options for playing around with colors. But, you know, if you wanna just go with the ones that you pulled from your photo, what you're looking for is down here in these codes is this hex code in the bottom. And then I'll show you how in Canva you can use those. Now, to set brand colors in Canva, I'm just gonna open up Canva here. You only get three if you're in the free version, but still, three is awesome. Over here, we're gonna go to your brand, and then you can see I have my brand colors set here. I'm just gonna delete all of those and show you how we add them. So I am gonna grab one of my hex codes. I think I'm gonna do this really pretty purple. And I go over here, I click the plus sign, and I can just paste that there. So I've done Control C and then Control V. So now that purple can be one of my brand colors. And then let's do, I really like this coral color. So I'm highlighting it, Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC, and then Command V or Control V to paste. And then the last one, let's do yellow. So I copy that, or I could write these down. You know, I could write down F1E844, keep them in a little notebook, and then just type it in here. But there I go, now I have really pretty colors set, and when I create a design, you know, now I can say, I want these to be my colors and they're already right there for me. If I wanted to use, some, you know, I can use more than three colors in my design, of course. So I could write all these down and say, okay, yeah, let's use this 
blue for the umbrella. I hit the plus and I type it in there and let's use the pink so I can really use them all here. Copy that and I'm going to make that bit of text, that nice bright pink. There we go. So there's my new color palette in action. You can do this with any photo. You know, go to Pinterest or um, to go out and take some photos yourself. Grab a picture of some flowers or, you know, anything. Take a picture from a magazine that you see and you can pull the colors right from it and then you grab the codes down here. Again, that's color.adobe.com and I'm Emily from BizBFF. Enjoy!